Hunter Lawrence, uh, Moshugal, not the day that you would want, of course. Uh, it looked like it was just a struggle from the start of Moto1. Yeah. So is there a fundamental reason or was it just one of those days? Uh, yeah, we're going to find out uh, in the next few days, that's for sure. It's, um, yeah, you just kind of looking back and just analysing everything, mate, it's kind of haven't been the same racer since Red Bud crash, honestly. Like, uh, just plain and simple. So I uh, don't know if, if it's the repercussions of that just kind of dragging on if it's some other stuff you know we're still working very hard maybe working a little too much during the week long season so yeah we're going to go back to the drawing board because yeah it's uh mate it sucks i i haven't even got one good moto in me you know the past two weekends millville and and here like it's just a bit shit to be honest like i i kind of speechless just it's not like me mate since geez I'm normally one of the strongest guys on the track for the last 10 to 15 minutes and no matter how I approach the moto and the first 15, trying to ride myself in or just go hell for leather, it seems to just be the same. So, bit of a tough, yeah, kick in the nuts, honestly. Um, I want to be fighting there and I'm willing myself through the motos mentally, just willing myself because my body's not, not been there to help me. So, um, yeah, gonna going to go back to the drawing board and hopefully get back to 100% or, or figure out what we need to do. It's easy to um, analyze these situations incorrectly and assume it's something. So we want to find out what the real underlying matter is first. How do you feel during the week? Like, have you noticed that the midweek motos have gotten harder as well? Yeah, I mean, it's, it's tough to replicate during the week, obviously. And yeah, we've just been trying to work through it. You know, we've been trying to work through it. We felt maybe we didn't have as many motos, bike motos, as we have in, in previous years, just due to the Supercross season, not having that six week, yeah. you know, like a 250. So that's an adjustment. But um, yeah, so maybe, you know, we're just, we're just trying everything. You know, it's not from a lack of trying and, and just, you know, figuring it out. We've, we've tried to improve some um, different aspects of our, of our program and stuff. And, and yeah, we just reevaluate all the things we've added to the program. Are you going to get blood tests done this week? Are we at that level of like research into this? Yeah, absolutely. We have to. You know, if anything's wrong with the bike, it's not running right. You plug in, check all the mapping ECU. So it's essentially the same thing for us. We're going to plug in and uh, and see what you know. That's the only way to do it because you can't really do things off. Oh well. I think it's this, or I think it's this, um, so yeah. Uh, it's a long season, of course, but when that finishes, you have Nations, Paris, Ozex Open. Are you starting to wonder what you've gotten yourself into a little bit with this crazy schedule? Uh, no, because it's, it's mate, it's, it's our job. You know, there's guys that wake up at, my dad was one of them, for 30 years, woke up at 4.30, 5 o'clock to go put render on brick walls outside houses and stuff, you know, like tradesmen, they wake up 4.30, 5am every morning to go build houses and stuff and I'm um, sure that, and that ain't tough, so I just kind of forget about it, it's not really, doesn't matter how I feel about it or what I personally think, it's work, I enjoy it, I ride a dirt bike for a living, um, yeah, plenty of other scenarios I could be in worse off.